Hello everybody. Today we are going to talk about uh, introduction and background of this course, uh, Automated Resume. And uh, we will first uh, try to understand what is Automated Reasoning. An Automated Reasoning consists of two words. Okay. So what are the two words? Automated and Reasoning. Okay, so in, first let's focus on the word reasoning. Okay, in the word reasoning, you you, you say well, you may ask you know, what is reasoning? Well, uh, it's 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 a question something like asking what is time. Okay, you can experience the time, but you cannot explain the time to somebody. Okay, and uh, similarly, if somebody uh, says something nonsensical to you, and you in response you may say, okay, be reasonable. You have just experienced reason but you can't explain it to somebody so even there you need to have some innate sense of reason now uh, the reasoning uh, involves also the word logic okay the reasoning and logic often used synonymously and there's a reason <laughs> uh, behind why we use both the words it will come clear over the course okay and uh, so why as a computer scientist you should care about logic uh, because logic is the calculus of computer science okay so why do we call something as, as a calculus of computer science okay so if you have uh, done your high school uh, somewhere so you must have analyzed circuits like this when you have a capacitor and then followed by a resistor and this is powered by a battery okay so how do you relate its current i and let's say a voltage v okay so some dv by dt is uh, some 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 equation okay and uh, this this equation is called a differential equation okay and solving this you know how this circuit is going to behave so in electrical engineering the sub differential equations are the calculus the how they compute and manipulate the objects and understand how things work so similarly in computer science we use logic or reasoning to understand our objects so therefore they are important to us okay so but then we'll say okay well i understand reasoning but what is as a mathematical object what it looks like okay so logic is basically a, you have a bunch of uh, premises given to you and then you come up with conclusions coming from the premises and and these conclusions should not be obvious uh, statement coming out of premises it should be some work involved in, in non-trivial observation given the premises okay let's look at an example the example is this so uh, humans are mortal okay and socrates is a human so you're given two premises okay as, as an intuitive person you, you say okay so you have a matching human human so if i am related here i can follow this relation and i can so relate socrates and mortal and then i say socrates is a mortal okay so this pattern is pretty intuitive right but if you follow this pattern literally okay i mean literally here is another pattern okay uh, in which you see I'm I'm doing almost the same reason okay so look uh, apostles are 12 okay so this apostle is like 12 and then apostle the same word and the Peter is an apostle and therefore Peter is 12 right so is it a valid reasoning well it's clearly a faulty reasoning and we can see that this is uh, one is correct reasoning one is incorrect okay and important thing to notice is they are very similar patterns okay uh, and you can easily see where the fault is i mean this 12 is not talking about each postal it's talking about the size of the set and this is not talking about the size set about the set is about talking about each individual hue and that's where things went wrong uh, so i we need to separate it okay somehow if I give you a reasoning and you should be able to derive this is correct and this is very wrong okay so 
do we have a how do we separate okay if I give you a, a reasoning how do I going to separate from one from another okay. so if we want to separate from good reason to bad reason uh, it's better to do with some assistance so let's seek assistance from computers okay? as we do in our lives uh, anything we want to do you say okay can should this be done by machines or why should I am I doing it okay so we want to enable machines okay to do the this reasoning the identify which one is a valid reasoning which is an invalid reasoning. and this this whole area of identification of a good reasoning to bad reasoning is called automated okay? and uh, it involves a lot of formalism mathematical structures uh, algorithm development uh, then we also need tools math software development and a whole range of things involved mm, so I said well well why do I care again I uh, you still may be asking why do I care about a computer scientist uh, where do I need such a tool to do uh, my reasoning I mean why <laughs> okay so uh, let me give you a few examples okay so uh, in, in, in it has a huge application in a lot of fields okay so for example software verification synthesis automated synthesis uh, and solving by almost anything any problem that is hard be hard if you want to solve it you need automated reason. okay and so it's, it's a sort of a backbone technology so uh, and let's go into detail of one one problem uh, let's call let's choose uh, software verification in software verification what do we need to check uh, somebody gives you a software and you want to check that it is actually doing as its specification wants it to do and uh, what happens is often softwares don't do the right thing if that is the case this is the verification boils down to a automated reasoning problem and this is uh, this is this is where automated reasoning tools are useful. If you are building a verification software, you want to verify a software, a banking software, or something like that. You what you want to do is translate the problem into a logical problem and solve that logical problem. So, uh, in in some sense, uh, what we call is that if you want to build a verification tool, okay so that means like building a car and then and this automated reasoning tools will be your engine okay and using that you can build the car okay as you know that the the in cars engine in building an engine is most difficult part similarly uh, developing an auto, automated engine reasoning tool is equally hard okay so we will study those automated reasoning uh, problems uh, how to solve them okay and we look at the problems coming from verification and uh, other sources and we see well given those problems needs to be solved how to build an efficient automated reasoning tool